is a very popular one. Conor McGregor and his longtime friend Artem. So apparently, Artem um, gave Conor McGregor the idea of proper number 12 whiskey and helped, you know, found it or create it. And he's complaining that he's not getting his proper due. So he decided to sue Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor apparently wants to fight him at SBG Concord at 10.30 p.m. at night. And apparently for the whole lot, you know. But going on with the updates, RTM hasn't responded to any of this. I guess he might just leave it with the lawyers because to be real, if Conor McGregor and um, RTM were to duke it out, I feel I do feel Conor McGregor would win, even coming off of um, the losses Conor McGregor has suffered. I, I still have Conor McGregor, so I, to a degree, I would see why RTM would leave this to the lawyers, and the lawyers or the attorneys are defending RTM nicely. They state, my client is retired professional fighter with a master's degree from DCU in finance and capital markets. We have issued high court proceedings on his behalf to enforce an agreement with McGregor regarding the proper number 12 whiskey brand. My client was the initial creator and co-founder of the concept to launch an iris whiskey brand associated with the McGregor. As these matters are now before the court, we will not be making any further comment. Proper number 12 hours whiskey was created, developed, and branded entirely promoted by Conor McGregor. Karen J. Kelsler said, RTM should have did better business-wise with Conor McGregor. I do have another quote from Talk Sport. RTM stated the selling point of my book because apparently he's going to come out with a book soon um, detailing his proper number 12 whiskey story RTM states a few people know but this was actually my idea I was the person who came up with the idea to do a whiskey for Connor I went on and met all different whiskey dis distilleries I called some and met some in person I did my research and put a beautiful deal together once the deal was ready, I went to Connor and I said, Connor, I have the deal ready for you. This is going to be a billion dollar deal. No messing here. I'm not sure if he took me seriously or not at the time with the billion dollars. Connor offered me one million, but I turned it down. I didn't accept it. You know, throughout my career, whenever I have helped Connor, Connor with camps, he offered to pay me four the camps but I never accepted money from him and this is where I feel RTM messed up I personally if I was in his position I would have been accepting money from Connor throughout the throughout the time um, because really it makes it seems it makes it seem like Connor was just using him for his ideas and his networking and his skills and then all of a sudden once he realizes how big this proper number 12 whiskey brand got apparently or all of a sudden now he wants to sue him it just makes RTM look bad but like I said if it was me I would have took the 1 million and any other money Connor offered throughout time when it came to these dealings with the brand and all of that. He probably didn't take the money because he probably would have felt he um, wouldn't be a proper friend or a business partner. But I, would, I definitely would have taken the money. I mean, he's definitely not hurting for money. So I definitely would have taken it. I'm curious is if you know if he's going to show up 
to the fight 1030 yeah, SPG Concord yeah I'm curious to see the follow-up with that but other than that that is all the stories I have for tonight Thank you.